Thanks for staying with us. Let's now do a mission. And mission is brought to you by Star Ghana with funding from Danida, UK Aid and the EU. Now pupils of the Denyame Presbyterian Basic School in the Doma Central Municipality of the Bono region study under harsh conditions. Stanley Niblo reports the plight of pupils has been worsened by inadequate furniture. The Nyami Presbyterian Basic School is located at the heart of the community and remains a preferred choice for formal education for many pupils. The school, which runs from kindergarten to JHS3, has increased enrollment, but teaching and learning is done under harsh conditions. All levels of basic school have challenges. The Denyami Presbyterian Basic School has enough teachers to handle the various classes. However, condition under which lessons are conducted is a source of worry to both pupils and teachers. At the kindergarten level, pupils bring chairs from home before they can sit and learn. Pupils bringing their own chairs is one of the requirements parents would have to fulfill before they can gain admission for their awards. Pupils who are fortunate to have been provided with plastic chairs are in school hoping to impact society someday. Other pupils bring along kitchen stools. We told them to bring their uh, chairs. That's what is in the system or in the community. Personally, I don't see any, you know, uh, any problem with children bringing their own furniture to school. But uh, as we are supplying, um, if we are able to supply enough to serve all the schools, I think we will do away with children carrying decks and what have you to school. I mean, it creates a lot of inconvenience for them. A mud structure sheltering pupils has become weaker. Portions have been washed away by downpour. Roof of the building is equally weak and sits on the structure loosely. Lives of pupils and teachers are at risk should the structure collapse. Head teacher of the school is worried. We don't have any place for the KG people, so we have to manage and use it. In March 2016, a rainstorm dislodged the roof of the Denyami Presbyterian Junior High School. The incident, which claimed a life of one of the pupils, happened at a time when school was in session. Barely two years on, nothing has been done to improve the situation to protect pupils and teachers. There have not been plans for renovation. Junior high school pupils now occupy an ICT laboratory building constructed by the Parents' Teacher Association. Teachers sit in the open to mark exercises. We are not having proper classrooms, but the teachers, they are all doing their best. The primary school also has its share of the challenges. Only lower primary pupils are confined in decent classrooms. Even here, furniture is inadequate. Dual decks are used by five pupils. The situation is no different at the upper primary. Municipal Chief Executive for Doma Central, Drisa Watara said, the assembly chalked some success in addressing the furniture deficit last academic year. The Nyami Presbyterian Basic School would need support to improve infrastructure at all levels. Stanley Niblu, TV3 News, the Nyami, Doma Central, Bunu Region. Construction works on the Community Day Senior High School at Denyame in the Doma Central Municipality of the Bunu region has been abandoned. As Stalini Blo reports, 100 bags of cement meant for the project has gone bad. The Democratic Congress government started the Community Day Senior High Schools intended to serve students who could not gain admissions into boarding schools and also bring relief to parents. 46 out of the 200 planned community day senior high schools initiated by the NDC government were completed before handing over power to the new patriotic party administration in January 2017. 123 of the schools were under construction. 
The Nyami, a farming community in the Doma Central Municipality, is a beneficiary of the project. The project, however, has stalled since late 2016. A visit to the site by the mission team saw five wheelbarrows and a concrete mixer left to rot. Iron rods have also been left at the mercy of the weather. 100 bags of cement kept meant for the project have cake in this wooden structure. This is a project that was abandoned long before we came into office. Um, though it was started by the previous administration, they had abandoned it before we came into office. Um, I remember in 2017 when I visited site, the contractor had left well over a thousand bags of cement that had gone bad, completely caked. If you go to site today, you might still see them there. Um, the school was not complete, yet somebody had supplied a set of furniture for almost thousand students. Um, so I was like, how come the project is not complete? Yet, you know, we are seeing some of these things there. Chief of the Nyami told the mission team, the community used 200 bags of cement to undertake expansion works on their health center, while the remaining 800 caked beyond use. It is true that 100 bags of cement were left by the contractor and had hardened. The community used 200 bags for social development projects. We are ready to pay for the bags of cement used any time the contractor returns to site. Security men have abandoned posts as they have not been paid. Municipal Chief Executive for Doma Central, Drisa Watara, said the assembly is working at bringing the contractor back to site. This is a project that uh, we have informed uh, Get Fund and, of course, Ministry of Education. They are aware they brought a team from Accra to come and have a look at the school. And I know that the plans are, you know, advanced to let the contractors come back to site to take care of the project. After completion, the school is expected to absorb the large number of pupils churned out from junior high schools in the municipality. Commitment would be required to complete the project to improve access to education in line with the United Nations Sustainable Development Goal 4 to ensure inclusive and equitable quality education and promote lifelong learning opportunities for all. Stanley Nibleu, TV3 News, Denyame, Doma Central, Bunu Region. And that's all for Mission Tonight. Mission is brought to you by Star Ghana with funding from Danida, UK Aid and the EU. Thanks for watching.